Around a million dollars in financial aid has been given out to Vermonters from FEMA since the disaster declaration from July's flooding, flooding was signed by President Biden last week, and more help should be on the way. NBC 5 Stephen Biddix joins us now live in Essex Junction with what the governor had to say about this today. Stephen. Yes, Brian. So Governor Scott telling us today that him and his team did send the request for another disaster declaration to Joe Biden today for the storm that took place in late July and hammered the Northeast Kingdom to try to get more federal help for Vermonters. But it's a different story for Vermont's snowmobile trails where this is back to back years that they've also been hit hard in accruing up to a million dollars in damages. While these federal and state resources are essential, and will help, we know it's not enough. Governor Phil Scott and FEMA delivering updates Wednesday on help FEMA has given out since the disaster declaration was approved last week. 513 residents have applied for individual assistance and as of today, we've already surpassed in less than a week from that de declaration over a million dollars in individual grant funding going out the door. The governor adding the disaster declaration request for the storms that hit the Northeast Kingdom hard in late July was sent to President Joe Biden on Wednesday. Homes and businesses were severely impacted there, but along with parts of the state's snowmobile system from both storms. The totals uh, are quickly approaching a million dollars in damage to our trails. Uh, from what I'm seeing so far and there's more stuff coming in as as folks uh, are able to get out and assess situations. The trails that span nearly 5,000 miles across the state are split between locally owned land, state land and private property, making it harder to qualify for flood help. FEMA does not uh, does not cover our damage since a lot of it's on private land and it's uh, just the way it works on the state land where we cross state land with our trails. They are able to obtain FEMA and other funds. So while now this is back to back years of severe damage to the trails, riders remain optimistic they'll be ready for winter and thankful for their volunteers. Hopefully we'll have good snow this winter and it'll, it'll make some of this, uh, some of this pain go away. <laughs> And the Vermont Association of Snow Travel says that a lot of the same places that were hit this year were also hit last year, which is one reason they think many damages accruing up to that a million dollars happened again. And they also say other parts of the trail system have been too hard to get to as the rain and wetness have continued. So they only expect that damage number to rise. Tonight we're live in Essex Junction. Stephen Biddix, NBC5 News.